Hi, welcome back to Storytime with Susan. We are continuing our book, The Berenstein Bear Scouts and the Sci-Fi Pizza. We're on chapter 11, so let's dig right in. Chapter 11, Down a Weasel Hole. Careful, the sides are steep, said Brother, when they reached the edge of the gully. Steep and monkey, said Sister. They looked around as they climbed down. The plane was nowhere in sight. It could be anywhere, said Lizzie, like behind one of those big rocks. The jagged rocks stuck out of the ground like giant teeth. Maybe it flew into the woods, said Fred. I don't think so, said Brother. I'm pretty sure it came down right around here somewhere. This is a pretty spooky place, said Lizzie. Can't help that, said Brother. We've got to find that plane. Come on, let's spread out. Let's not, and say we did, said Sister. Yeah, said Lizzie. Let's stick together. Bre Brother led the way. He was the first one to spot the plane. It hadn't crashed at all. It had made a safe landing on a dry, grassy spot. Maybe the only dry, grassy spot in the gully. Brother went over and got the plane. Thank goodness, he said. It's not even damaged. That's a relief, said Fred. Yeah, said Sister. All that work? Shh, said Lizzie. I hear someone coming. I don't hear anything, said Sister. Brother knew better than to argue with Lizzie's amazing hearing. It had saved the Bear Scouts more than once. Quick, he said, behind this rock. Lizzie was right, of course. Someone was coming. Look, his sister, it's Ralph. Is it the new Ralph or the old Ralph, said Fred. The way he's sneaking around, I'd say it's the old Ralph, said Brother. What's that he's carrying, said Lizzie. It looks like a pizza box, said Brother. This is a funny place to be delivering pizza, said Sister. Ralph had come out of the woods on the other side of the gully. He seemed to know exactly where he was going. He didn't slip and slide the way the scouts had. He climbed down a stone stairway. Now he was sneaking along, keeping his head down. He headed straight for the spot where the plane had landed. When he got there, he took a quick look around. Then he reached down and took hold of the grassy spot. It lifted like a lid. Beneath it was a hole. It was just big enough for Ralph and his pizza box. He lowered the lid after him. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, said Brother? I am, if you're thinking weasels, said Fred. No doubt about it, said Sister. Weasels for sure, said Lizzie. Come on, said Brother. What are we going to do? said Fred. Follow Ralph, of course, said Brother. Won't that be dangerous, said Fred. Not as dangerous as not following him, said Brother. Brother's right, said Sister. Ralph's bad enough by himself, but when he hooks up with the we weasels, that's real trouble. What are we going to do with the airplane, said Lizzie. We'll cover it with brush, and hide it behind this rock, said Brother. We'll get it when we come back. Don't you mean if we come back, said Fred. Working quickly, the Bear Scouts hid the plane. Then they lifted the grass lid, and down the weasel hole they went. Well, looks like Ralph is acting like his old self, but looks like the Bear Scouts are going to follow and find out what Ralph is really up to. As always, check out my next video for the next chapter. 
subscribe and like and have a great day.